Hello guys and welcome back to another tutorial. Just wanted to update the tutorial for basically making an entity with Blockbench. I noticed that they changed some stuff around with the UI and it uh, caused some confusion on how to actually create entities and stuff. So uh, if we go into uh, Blockbench, I'll just quickly open this uh, workspace up so we can actually see the settings that I've been using for testing. Now this is the entity that I basically created. It's just a simple snake and um, there is uh, some things that we actually can use to see how this is all set up. So again, we're still using the folders for specifying the pivot points for the actual entity and we have assigned the pivot points for the actual uh, things here. If I move this back, you can kind of see that the pivot point is right in the center of this particular part right here. So um, yeah, all these are set up for the pivot points where they need to be the heads, its own pivot point, and then we got the body, which is all connected and stuff like that. Um, right, so if we go into properties, or proje pardon me, project, uh, you can see that we have specified our model identifier and our file name. So basically I've just uh, named this something that is um, not used already. So this is basically just snake and snake and that will work just fine. The other thing that you will notice is when you create a new workspace, it will be on Forge 1.17 Moj Maps. Uh, this is uh, Mojang Maps. Uh, generally, you do not want to use this version and not for 1.16 or 1.15. Um, there are actually specific models for or versions for this. Now, uh, there is the version right here where it says MCP. Now, that stands for Minecraft Coder Pack. Now, Forge uses this version to actually uh, work with the code and stuff. So you need this, anything that says MCP on it. So if it says MCP here, it should work. I'm not sure about this one. It doesn't actually have a type listed, but it's between uh, 1.7 and 1.13. So I assume that it supports every version between that. Uh, so anything, if it's 1.14, then it's MCP. If it's uh, 1.15 or 1.16, then it's uh, MCP here. So again, that's what we had it set to. And then you just make sure to confirm it and then you're good to go. Now, once you have that, um, I'm gonna get rid of this other snake file that I have. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go to File, Export, and then if you're in the right workspace, then you should be able to actually export it as a Java entity. So if you're not in a right workspace, I believe you can actually go and um, I, I'm not sure if they still have that feature or not. Let's see. Yeah, they're, if you go under file and then convert project, and then they'll give you some options. Now, if you're under a certain type of project, like if you're under a block bench model or anything like that, then you should have the option for um, modded entity. Now, if you don't, I think we're already in a modded entity. So I'm gonna just quickly create a new workspace after exporting this. So again, export, export Java entity, and then we're just gonna call it snake and then we'll create a new workspace. So we'll go project, or pardon me, uh, file, new, and then the one that you want to create is a modded entity. So we're actually gonna go with just uh, something different. We're gonna go with um, Java block because that's probably a common one that's used. We're just gonna give it a fake file name. And then what we're going to do is go to convert project and we should have modded entity right here. So if you create a, um, basically a model under a different workspace. Now there's tons of different workspaces, so it's easy to get lost with them. But the one that you want for entity is this modded entity. That's for the Forge version. Uh, Bedrock has its own very specific uh, version file format for the actual exporting and stuff, and it's not compatible with Forge. And then there is the um, block and um, item, I think it, what, what, what exactly workspace is that called? Let's do a new one. Uh, it's Java block slash item. So again, that's for the Forge version. So basically the only workspaces that you will need for Forge is the Java slash, 
or Java block slash item version and the modded entity version. Um, if you're not on the right one for what you need, uh, then you're not going to be able to actually export it under the right file format. All right, so now that we got that all settled, uh, we have our snake actual um, Java file, and then we got the snake texture here. Let's uh, go back into mCreator. Actually, I already have mCreator up. What am I doing? Just going to close out of that, and then we will take a look at our model. So if we want to import our model, then what we want to do is import Java and Java uh, Java 3D model, and then it's going to basically say make sure that it's for the right version. Uh, we are using 1.16.5, uh, so again, making sure that it's the right version for the right mod version is really important. And then we're going to import our snake model, and I'm going to set this to its head, and we're just going to put that here, and then we have uh, four different... Um, body parts for the pivot points. Now that's based on our folder structure. So what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to just set the R movement for Y axis. And I already tested this um, before, so I know that it works well. So I'm going to do left, left, and then right and right. So right arm Y and right arm uh, right arm Y. All right, and then we want to set our new animations. And then after what we need to do is I'm just going to delete this and we're going to basically import it from scratch. So when you import your texture, what you want to do is basically import other. So Minecraft UI, um, textures, mobs, etc. And then basically import your texture that you've had in Blockbench. So you can export that, if you go back into our Blockbench file. You can export your texture that you make by right clicking on it and then there is one that says save as and then you want to save it as the same name as your actual Java modded entity file. So in, a, in our case it's uh, both snake and snake. So that's basically what we needed to do. And then if we go back into mCreator, uh, we have our texture, we have our model, and then we'll, all we need to basically do is set up our entity itself. Uh, you want to assign your custom model here and your texture here. Now, if you have a glowing texture, then basically it's the same map as your snake texture. You just want to basically select um, the overlay for that particular map. Now it's not the exact same texture, obviously you might want to customize like say the eyes to glow or whatever, but you would be in the same position as the snake texture UV, the UV map. So that's kind of what you want. Outside of that, that's um, all the settings and then we'll just go through all this and it's basically, that's completely for another tutorial, but we'll save it. And then we will go into mCreator and just quick, take a quick look at the snake itself. So that will just take a second. All right, so we are now in game and I have the entity here. So that's basically what we got for a snake. It's just a tiny little snake. It's actually a hostile mob, so it will attack us if um, we do stuff around it so it's kind of pretty cool and uh, with the pivot points of the different folders we can animate a little bit of it basically going back and forth using the method that we basically used so there's all those different cubes that make it look like it's slithering and stuff so that's pretty cool but outside of that uh, that's all I needed to basically show you today was basically to clear up the main issues that everyone is having with the uh, version not working. Now again, if you're creating a new workspace, like a new project, it's always going to be for 1.17 or the last option in that list. So make sure to ch uh, double check your settings for your actual version in Blockbench and you should be able to set the exact version that you need. But uh, outside of that, that's all that I have time for today. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.